Hey guys, what's happening? Thanks for tuning in today. In this video, I'm gonna talk about three filters in Aurora HDR that work every single time. They literally work on every photo. I've got landscapes, I've got cityscapes, I've got sunset shots, I've got um, middle of the day shots, I've got, uh, what else do I have? I have nighttime shots. It doesn't matter. These are three great filters. They work every time. Let's roll. Okay, so here we are. Uh, this is a landscape shot, kind of golden hour sunset, and I'm gonna start with HDR Basic. That's filter number one. It's super powerful. You have all these sliders in there, and hey, you're thinking, hey, Jim, you said three filters, and I did. The filter is HDR Basic. There are multiple sliders within each one. Still three filters, more than three sliders. Okay, so there's that. Um, second one is color. I use vibrance a lot and some color contrast. I don't always use a lot of saturation. Sometimes I change that. And then top and bottom tuning. You can just do so much with this, uh, with this slider. I absolutely love it how you can divide the frame and then just completely change your image and the look of it. And as you can see, I'm sort of doing some things here. And there you go. Let me show you the, let's see, the easiest thing to do is hide the layer. There's the before with no changes, and there's the after with changes. Now, absolutely, your question's gonna be, hey, can I just change more stuff? Why is it three? I'm just trying to make it easy here. There's three things that I do every single time, but I don't always do just three things. There's plenty of other things you can and may want to do. These are the three, I think, that work every single time without question. Let's go to photo number two. Okay, here's photo number two. This is a cityscape shot at sunset. First one was a landscape, kind of golden hour. Let me show you what you can do just using the basic uh, HDR basic panel and then uh, jumping into color and the other things that we talked about. So I'm just making some quick edits here and I recommend you take your time. I'm doing this quick so that you're not sitting around kind of waiting for me to, you know, um, take too long talking about stuff. So I'm just changing this up a little bit. Let's see here, I'm gonna brighten that and I'm gonna get a little bit more vibrance, a little bit more warmth. And boom, look at that. Let me show you the before and after. High layer, there's your base HDR, no edits. There it is using just three filters. Again, you might wanna add HSL and say, Jim, a little too blue. You might wanna add denoise, I get it, that's cool. But that's the three, the basic, the color, and the TBT, or top and bottom tuning. Let me get a third photo and show you uh, that example. One second. Okay, folks, photo three, a cityscape at night. This is just a random street shot from Italy, but it perfectly illustrates what I'm talking about here. I'm just gonna make some changes as I kind of play with this photo and see what we come up with. Just give me a second as I kind of move through some of these things that I've been talking about here. I'm gonna darken the top, give it a little contrast, cool it off a little bit, and the bottom. I'm gonna bring that exposure up, and jump up the contrast a little bit, a little more vibrance, a little less warmth, and boom, there you go. Here we go. There's the base HDR, no edits, just a blended three exposure uh, bracket set, and boom, there you go. Simple, quick, easy. Three filters, they work every single time without question. If you haven't used them very uh, very often, especially top and bottom tuning, I think that one, people use it and just lift the exposures and the, uh, the exposure value in the top or the bottom of the photo. Don't forget about the other sliders, they work really well. Everybody uses color, I get it, and hopefully you're using the HDR basic panel as well. Three super amazing filters, I use them all the time. Get your arms around these if you haven't yet. If you have any questions about how to use Aurora, I'll put a link in whichever corner it is to my tutorial series. It's a series of 10 videos. Uh, they'll help you get from a, you know, a beginner user to an advanced user over the course of 10 videos. It's all free, it's all right here on YouTube, and it's a lot of fun. So have fun out there, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave a comment for me. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Hit like, just let me know what's happening. I appreciate it, folks. I'll see you next time. Thanks again. Adiós.